Hey, this is Doug Van Pelt with Heaven's Metal Podcast. I made the Super Bowl halftime show good all by myself. That's right, today on the Heaven's Metal Podcast with Doug Van Pelt, we're going to talk about foolish proverbs or useless information for Doug's opinion again. <laughs> Hey, well, I made the Super Bowl halftime show good all by myself. You know what? I started watching it, saw uh, the singer for Coldplay out on the field, kind of crouching down, running towards the stage, and I started to think in my mind about what all my peers and critics and just a bunch of my friends, I guess those are peers, um, would have to say about this. And I kind of decided, you know what, I'm going to check this out. I'm not going to get on the bandwagon of bashing the Super Bowl halftime. It's kind of a popular thing to do. And I allowed myself to watch it and kind of just enjoy the ride, enjoy the feeling. I allowed myself to feel what was being conveyed visually and musically, and I enjoyed it. And I'm glad that I didn't let the opinion of my peers and rock critics bring me down, because sometimes people can steal your joy. So that's what I did. I made the Super Bowl halftime good for me, all by myself. That's what I did. Hey, today, this morning, I um, finished up the jar of Concord grape jelly. And because it's plastic, the lid and the jar, I tossed it in the recycle bin. Now, in the past, like up until now, I would get hot water and I would clean that sucker out. So when I put it in the recycle bin, it would be clean and clear. You could see right through it. But you know what? I decided, why am I cleaning my trash? Why am I cleaning up recycle stuff? You know, I'm sure there's a recycle bin. Like our recycling here, they take everything. So they just take all kinds of stuff, from paper to plastic, everything but pizza boxes because of the grease, grass clippings, and odds and ends. Uh, but they've got some sort of system to clean stuff, and they melt the plastic down. They're not using this jar again, so... I think I'm good, right? And I think I learned a valuable lesson. I'm not going to clean my trash up before I throw it away. I think the average football fan, the average Monday morning quarterback... Well, first let me back up and say, I feel like an idiot sometimes. I feel like an idiot sometimes. But I think the average football fan is an idiot. Some of the things I hear on the water cooler, people jumping all over Cam Newton, uh, people jumping all over coaching decisions... In praising players. You know what? I think that... And I only played in high school. I played in college for 24 hours. That's another story for another day. doesn't count. But, uh, you know, people don't know what goes on behind the scenes. They're so dumb, you know. And uh, you find out more about, you know, Cam Newton sitting right behind the screen from a, a Bronco player who's just bragging about what their game plan was and how they shut down their passing game. You know, really made him angry. And Peyton Manning said that he was very humble when he talked to Cam on the football field. So, you know, let's not crucify the guy. Let's not jump to conclusions like the average idiot football fan. But I hear some silly things, and uh, sometimes people just don't have a clue. Sorry I'm setting myself up as some arrogant jerk for saying that. But, hey, I feel like an idiot sometimes, too. So we're in the same boat. There you go. Write me.